good morning. Uh, it is Thursday, and what we're doing today is uh, the mantle came in, so I'm hanging the mantle, and uh, then we're going to go the rest of the way up here with the brick uh, to the mantle, and then we got to figure out where the TV is going to sit right in here, and then I'll rock around the mount for the TV. But uh, we're going to hang this mantle, and then I'm going to start rocking today. Um, let me show you on the back side. So uh, what I'm doing here is I've already put one in and uh, I just went ahead like on that piece out there that the mantle's going to hang on. It um, already has a pre-drilled hose and I had to drill a few holes to get them in the right spot where I wanted them uh, to get them on a brace to, to hold them because I had my wife come in to help me hold it. And uh, so I'm going to cut some braces to go across here, right here. And then right over here, I'm going to put a brace across there so we get plenty of screws in it. There's probably not anything going to really sit on top of it. We're not going to sit the TV on top of it. Um, but I just, I do want to have it, you know, really secure to where it doesn't come loose or fall off. Um, pre probably just decorative stuff that my wife puts up there. So anyway, let's go cut some braces and put those up and then we're, we'll get those up and then I'll set the the um, mantle on that bra bracket. There's a couple of things I want to mention about this um, miter saw. Just a couple of things that um, I, I really, really like the miter saw, but a couple of things that um, that are aggravating me a little bit. This is held in. There's only one left. It's a little plastic like little snap pin. And as you see, I don't know if working in the cold weather out here or what, but the snap pins are gone. This is kind of just flopping down now. And I guess I might could try to get a couple of little bitty small screws and get them in there to hold that back because what this does is makes the sawdust kick up up to here and blow it out the back if you've got a you know vacuum on there or if you put the little bag, put the little bag on the back back here to catch it. Uh, I don't use that when I'm outside. I do use it if I'm cutting inside or I'll put the vacuum cleaner on it because the vacuum cleaner will actually do a better job than this. This blade, this, uh, this screw right here, from the day I've had this, that right there has been a pain getting that in and out. I think it was stripped from the factory. Two things right there that have gone wrong with this saw that I dislike. All right, now let's go around there and put some screws in the other side. As you see, this not functioning right, being down here folded like this, is not letting the sawdust go up in there and come out the chute. It's making it like spread out all over everywhere. And I just, I'd really try to take care of my equipment and it just aggravates me when uh, manufacturing wise, things are not made just right and they mess up on the job but I'm gonna to have to go get a couple of screws and put in that to try to hold it. That's the reason that I was leaving this back wall off is uh, not putting the finish on the outside of this is so uh, when the mantle came in, if I needed to put some more supports in for it uh, to make sure I got all the TV cables around, they're down here, they're just gotta come up. But, um, uh, this is going to be last, and this is the reason why, for supports, what I needed to add in. So that when we put the TV in, 
that I can get back here and um, mount the bracket for the TV and all that. So let's go around, put some screws in, and put the mantle on. And she is level. Uh, this is uh, I don't DCLO61 work light, DeWalt LED. Of course, I've got the 20 volt, 60 volt flex bolt on it. Man, I use this light right here all the time. It it is bright, bright, bright. And uh, piece of equipment that I can't hardly do without. And that's the DeWalt vacuum cleaner, the little battery vacuum cleaner. Now the new ones have a 110 cord on them where you can plug them up or run them off a battery either one so, uh, let me clean this up so she'll be happy <laughs> okay we're gonna lay some of this air stone now and uh, I need to cut a piece and I'm gonna try the little multi-tool I've got a sheetrock blade in it it says you can cut it with a hacksaw um, but I thought, you know, this is probably about the same blade. If this don't work, I'll try a different blade. And if that don't work, then we'll go to a hacksaw. But I was going to try this. So let's try to cut this thing. I got the Rockwell, the Jaws. Perfect. So let's go see if this will fit. Here's what Jordan got me for Christmas. He knows that uh, Hamburger Helper is, there's pizza, spaghetti, lasagna, Hamburger Helper. Those are my four things that are my favorite foods. Jordan, he, he's a jokester. Well, we're gonna lay a few of these stones right here. This uh, glue that you put them on with, it kind of smells like the fin set that you that you use to put tile on kind of has the same odor to it kind of the same consistency you just try to get a good uh, good smooth just barely gonna put a little pressure on that and I think a while ago I was going at it too hard so I just go real slow and go easy and the other time I had it turned this way going down long ways and I think it works better right here. It's not bad, so it's good and smooth. If we had a Lowe's here in town, I would go get a tile blade for that. They have a diamond blade, tile blade for that and I think that would probably work really good. I may wind up going tonight and getting one. I just don't want to take off right now and go get it. So let's go see if this fits. My wife's got Christmas trees all through the house. We got Christmas trees in several different rooms. 
She's a Christmas fanatic. Well, Christy just came in, looked at the wall, and uh, she saw where I had it done all the way up to the bottom of the mantle. As you can see, now I've got it uh, fit really, really tight under there, uh, cutting them. And she really liked it, and I think she's gonna let me stay in the house for the rest of the winter. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I wanna show you something else on cutting them, something I learned. Uh, as I was cutting these, when you first saw me cutting them, I was cutting them on the front side. And if I mark them on the back, cut them on the back, that multi-tool will cut them just like that. Now I've got a tile saw and that would have probably worked best, but it's uh, about 25, 30 degrees outside. I don't want to get my hands in water. I don't want to get the tile, tile saw back running in water because it's been winterized for the winter. And uh, so anyway, just mark them on the back, cut them on the back with a multi-tool using the sheetrock blade, and it works perfect. I thank you for watching uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, let me show you here. There it is with it on and round the brick. So, and the mantle there. So we're going to really enjoy this. So, um, Anyway, I'll see you another day. If I don't see you again, have a merry, merry Christmas.